Hello boys and girls, it's Auntie Mimi here. Today we have another fun Postman Pat book. Our book today is called Postman Pat's Speedy Special Delivery. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Then sit back, get comfortable and let's begin. There's a flying machine challenge and Postman Pat must deliver a rocket on time. He will have to work extra hard to prove that no job is too big or fast for the special delivery service. It was a breezy afternoon in Pencaster. Postman Pat and Jess had just finished their deliveries when Pat's phone rang its special ring. Hello, special delivery service, Pat said. It was Ben at the mail centre. Pat, I've got an urgent job for you, he said. So much for a quiet afternoon, Jess, laughed Postman Pat as they sped back to the mail centre. When Postman Pat arrived, Ben was standing with Ted Glenn next to a rocket. Allow me to present the red rocket, smiled Ted. Accelerator, walkie-talkie, I've even got my own red steam jet. Ted was taking part in a flying challenge later that afternoon. He was sure his rocket could win the prize trophy. Pat, the rocket needs to be delivered to Pencaster Island by five o'clock, said Ben. You'll need the helicopter for this one. Ben secured the rocket to the helicopter in no time. Ready for liftoff, said Postman Pat, as he jumped on board with Jess close behind. I hope it gets there safely, Ted said, as the rocket disappeared over the rooftops. Over at the harbour, AJ was showing everybody Ted's route. He'll start at the tree on the island, fly around the lake, under the bridge, then finish back at the tree again, says AJ. And he has to do it in under a minute, PC Selby added. Everybody gasped. It certainly won't be easy, said AJ. Meanwhile, Postman Pat and Jess were heading towards the island. Suddenly, a gust of wind shook the rocket. A helmet inside the cockpit fell off the seat and hit the start button. The rocket zoomed forward. Red and white smoke whooshed out of the engine. Oh, I cried Postman Pat. I think we're going to have to land, Jess. Postman Pat lowered the rocket in Alf Thompson's field. He quickly climbed inside and found the off button. Phew, smiled Pat. That was close. Alf came running over to see the rocket. Before he could take a closer look, one of his sheep jumped up and hit a big button. The rocket door slammed shut, trapping Postman Pat and Jess inside. Prepare for liftoff, said the automated voice inside the rocket. Five, four. Oh no, said Postman Pat, trying to push the door. Three, two. The voice continued. The door wouldn't budge. One, lift off, said the voice. Oh, oh, hold on tight, Jess, said Postman Pat, as the rocket shot up into the sky. On the island, Ted was worried. It was almost five o'clock and Pat hadn't arrived. Just then, his walkie-talkie started to crackle. Rocket to Ted, said a voice. It was Postman Pat. He had found a walkie-talkie inside the red rocket. Pat? Ted asked, shocked. Don't worry, I'm on my way, Pat said. You won't miss your challenge, Ted. I'm afraid the challenge needs to start now, PC Selby said, shaking his head. Hang on, said AJ. The rule book says that it doesn't have to be the inventor who flies the machine. Pat can fly for you, Ted. 
Pat, you must do the challenge, Ted said into the walkie-talkie. It's the only way. Oh dear, said Postman Pat from inside the rocket. Well, I'll try my best. Postman Pat hovered over the starting flag as PC Selby blew his whistle. Postman Pat zoomed forward and whizzed past the first tree. Pat, you're doing well, Ted said into the walkie-talkie, but you need to go faster. Faster? Postman Pat frowned. Then he saw a button with turbo written on it. Here goes, he said, pressing the button. The rocket raced over the lake. Postman Pat steered under the bridge and sped towards the harbour. All the children had gathered to watch the competition. That's my dad, cried Julian happily. You've got five seconds, Pat, Ted said. Postman Pat pressed the turbo button again. This time the rocket reached a record speed. Postman Pat zoomed over the finish line with one second to spare. We did it, Jess, cried Postman Pat as he landed the rocket on the island. Ted ran over. Well done, Pat, he said. Now it is my great pleasure to award the Pencaster Flying Trophy to Ted Glenn. Pat Clifton and Jess, said PC Selby. Special delivery service, mission accomplished, said Postman Pat, smiling. Well, that was a fun book today, wasn't it, boys and girls? I do hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. As always, I want you to be kind to one another, look after one another and try and have some fun every single day. Until next time. Bye-bye.